So it seems that you guys like when I go digging through my garage. So I figured why not do that again and see what we got going on here. I am currently in the process, let's see if I can turn us around here, of cleaning this space over here. That used to be my old setup, rest in peace old setup. But it is time to clean up around here and there is plenty to go through that we could just pluck for a little opening video. But I, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even know where to start in here. This place is just jam packed to the brim. So I have no idea. I think we need to get some different stuff. Uh, some stuff that we haven't opened yet. One day I will open up this box, but that day is not today. All right, let's see what's in here. Oh, we saw that last video. I dare you. No, let's not do that. Those are all sealed. That's gonna be a pain in the ass to even get out. What's up with these, man? What is in here? Okay, these I think are newer. What, are these like little duplies? These, these duplicates? Okay, we have duplicates. What do we do when we have duplicates? We open one. Okay, so there's one. All right, let's see what else we got. We got a bunch of hidden fates right here. Bunch of evolutions. We opened that a lot, I feel like. Boom, Dragon Ball manga. If you, if you know, you know. Also some Infinity Gauntlet uh, comic books, the entire set, if you don't know about that, uh, maybe for another video, because this isn't about Marvel. This is about the Pokemon. Okay, we've been in these before. What do we got over here? I And honestly, guys, I didn't even set this up and plan on trying to s snipe certain stuff. I'm going in this completely blind as if we're doing it for the first time. All right, we always open, they'll suck. These these little mystery boxes suck. I'm not doing that. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Do we open the Pokeballs? How about no, Scott? Do we open these up? I don't know what's in here. All right, let's just take one. Screw it. Take one, we'll leave those two. The things are meant to be open. I one day we will open that and one day we will open that. I'll tell you that much. I'm thinking about like, I don't know, doing some of the older stuff. People would probably want to see that is my guess. All right, what do we got back here? Let's see, these are this, those same tins. I don't know what's in there. It's probably Shining Legends or I don't know what it is. I, I, I don't know, I, I, I don't know, I don't want to say. I'm probably going to get wrecked in the, in the comments. Do we take one of these? These are from Costco. I know those have evolving size. We got to do something older. That's boring. Shining Legends. Is that ever a we're always chasing the test tube Mewtwo. Hello? Hola? Okay. What do we we have a lot of shiny. Let's just take let's just take this one right here. I don't even know what it is. Marshadow? Let's just take this one right here. Boom. Yeah. Marshadow. Three three shot. We have a bunch of it. Let's open it. Where, where are we going? Okay. So we got our Pokemon ball. What do we do, guys? Do we go one more one more thing. That's three things. I don't know how many packs that is. What, what are we What are we talking about over here? I'm I'm getting some kind of weird tingle from one of these boxes here, but I feel like we always open hidden fates. It's always hidden fates. Ooh, oh baby, sweet nectar. He needs help. Do we do that? Are we Are we that crazy today? Are we that? So oh wait, unified minds. Let's go unified minds. We rarely get to it. Give me that. Boom. Unified Minds. I like it. I love it. We're about it. Shining Legends. Odd tin that I don't know what's in What's in it. I'm going to guess Evolving Skies. Unified Minds and also Mystery Pokemon Ball tin thing. I don't know what we start. I'm gonna, we're going to start with Pokeball. We're going to start with Pokeball and we're going to end with Shining Legends just because I think that's the play and we'll make it up in the middle. Also, guys, just so you're not gambling along with me on the pulls for the giveaway, I'm just going to guarantee a giveaway and throw in an ETB of Scarlet and Violet 151. One of you guys is going to win this. All you have to do to get your chance to win this bad boy is number one, be a subscriber. Number two, like the video. Number three, hit the bells for notifications. And number four, are we going to hit anything? We usually have very bad luck, but we picked a random four things. I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. I don't know what's gonna, I don't know what's going to be in this, man. Uh, we just sometimes, whoa. Sometimes we just buy things and I don't know, like I could, if I, ha if I had to tell you exactly what was in this, I would have no idea. But my son does love these, so this will be a nice gift for him. He loves collecting these and like messing with them in his room. He thinks he's an actual Pokemon trainer. <laughs> what a what a dork. No, you are. Just kidding. All right, okay, if I had to guess, I haven't guessed. If I had to guess, I'm going to say Evolving Skies, Chilling Rain, and Fusion Strike. Of no way. The force is strong with you. You guys, Sisbu, make it true. I just called that. No joke. These things are destroyed. God forbid if we actually get a hit. <laughs> Look at the. 
Okay. Look at these packs. They do not look uh, healthy at all. Whoa. I wonder if the uh, if the corners of the of the cards are a little bit munchy. We're gonna cut straight to the I guess the hollow. Are these munchy on the corners? Not bad. So it's just the packs that look absolutely terrible. That is, I don't know, that's devastating. I'm, I'm never confident uh, when the packs look like that on the outside. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. All right. Nothing. No, th this is, guys, listen, I already know how this is going to go. This is all retail product, probably that I picked up from Target or somewhere. And you know what happens on the pulls on these. We get absolutely smoked i took that like street magic from whatever that was worth that was probably like a 15 dollars tin maybe maybe less 12 i don't know what the what it's worth but we took it all the way down to zero and really just a consolation gift for my son all right let's go to this tin that's a little hack whoa i don't know if you guys knew about that you guys probably didn't know that that comes apart really easy i know that there's evolving skies in here most stuff that i buy when it's of this caliber of product it will come with evolving skies that much I know. I, I just made that a thing. Promo card, whatever. Put it in the bones. I made that a, I made that one of the things that it has to have evolving sizes. All right, these are pretty, these are really decent. Very decent sets. Another thing, you know, well, you guys already know if you watch, if you watch uh, my videos, you definitely want to be buying sets, guys, from Sword and Shield that offer an alternate art, okay? As far as value is concerned, if you're looking to invest, if you're looking to put your money into certain sets, it is a surefire way to uh to cover your butts uh is by you know getting into sets that have alternate arts that's just an absolute fact okay we finally we have don't, not to worry guys we have our first hit it's our greninja v out of this tin from god knows where from god knows when again we don't have good luck at oh just like when i was talking we do have another hit is it the most expensive hit no is it a hit yes we're happy that's good at least it's something. It's progress. Progress is the word. Progress is the word that we're looking for. That is the word of the day. You guys ever watched Pee Wee Herman's Playhouse? I know. Probably not. A lot of you guys were like, what the hell is he talking about? That's the word of the day. Progress. Progress. Even if it's a gar... God, this is... Uh, I can't... I can't even fake be excited about something like that. That is probably one of my most hated Pokemon on the planet. And I'm sitting here going... Rrr! progress for the carnivore who cares give me a freaking hit man all right right into right into three unified minds rest in peace to this hanging blister box which we never pull anything out of ever never ever all right do we finesse these a little bit there's the code card no idea if it's green white or whatever okay so what do we do let's go one two three four this is sunday moon right four is the play we'll give you guys the code cards Let's just do a little, it's just a little finesse job. It, you never know. It could bring us a hit or absolutely. The last time we opened these on the channel, it it went in devastating fashion. And by devastating, I mean, we didn't get one hit whatsoever. All right, there's another code card. Let's see if we can pull ourselves. We'll, we'll take, I'll, I'll, I'll take, honestly, I'll take anything. I think we got something here, actually. I'm seeing like a little creepage, a little crackage, a little something. Come on, baby. Let's go, man. We'll freaking take that. We seem to, I feel like I pull that a lot. I don't, oh, uh, well, it's okay. It's munchy up in the top. It's, it, it is not the most expensive uh, tag team card, but nonetheless, it is a tag team card. If we can somehow go two for two, we are cooking with fire. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be munchy in the corners, but we'll be happy no matter what happens. If it's something, we'll take anything. Uh, Unify Minus has some freaking beautiful cards, man. Some beautiful art. No, no. It's a, of course, it's a, it's a meta champ. My emotions! My emotions! It's a freaking sausage thighs meta champ. All right, last but not least, we have the Pièce de Résistance, which is the Shining Legends Mars Shadow. These things are going for some coin, guys. We're talking probably in the $100 realm for this Mars Shadow, but we rip it as if... It mad, it doesn't even matter. I was buying these for $15 back in the day, okay? 15, maybe less, maybe $12.99. There's a code card for you. Maybe $12.99, but let me tell you something. Shining Legends, it has the hits, okay? I've had really good luck out of these. And the one card that we're hunting for, all we're missing truly out of this entire set, each pack will come with a, uh, 
with a hollow too. But all I'm missing in a PSA 10 out of the set, I have the complete set, is of course the test tube Mewtwo uh, in a PSA 10. So we don't have that. And that's the only one that we're missing and we're gonna continue <laughs> missing it. All right, last two packs, guys. We've pulled the Mewtwo on the channel before and you know what? It graded, it got a freaking eight. I'll never forget that. It got an eight and it was straight from a pack, but that just because it's straight from a pack does not mean that it's gonna be something good. That That is just a bona fide fact. Do we have something here? We have, whoa, 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 whoa. Dude. This is why, this is exactly why I uh, guaranteed the ETB because this is about par for the course. You got, you are, guys, you're sitting front row for a street magic act that's literally turning $200 bills into just $2, which is the, which is the tag team uh, Umbreon. And what, what do we pull? The Umbreon and the Dark Cry. That's all. That's what. That's what we're doing here. Just give me a shiny. All we're looking for is a shiny. I admit. No. Wait. The shinies are in this. I don't know. Whatever. Double Keldeos, dude. Guys, that's gonna be it for me. You know what to do to put your name in the freaking hat for this box. That was devastating. That was devastating to my mind and psyche. But I love you all. That stays constant. Can't do it without you guys. It is nothing without your guys' support. And don't ever forget that I don't forget that. I love you all. Peace out. See you in the next live or the next episode. Later. Yeah, I'm talking to you. It's time to hit the button already. Do it now. What do you think, I'm dancing for free here?